Well, my dears, welcome back to Rapture, and indeed, welcome back to Hephaestus, Andrew Ryan's supervillain lair at the heart of the city. Uh, we've got stuff to do. We're gonna go and blow the resonance cascade thingamy jig Star Trek science fiction gobbledygook bollocks. We're gonna go and blow it. We're going to go and open Andrew Ryan's door. Hello. Hello, lovely. What are you doing? You're a big one, aren't you? You know, you can get... I don't know where... I, I imagine they're actually quite expensive these days, but you can get really big toys of the, uh, the big daddies, and they're very impressive. Very detailed. Um, you can get toys of the splicers as well, I believe, which is rather cool. I'd like... Hello. I'd like an Andrew... Uh, uh... Oh. Right, Hello, bet you did. I'll see what I can dig up to help. Yeah, you do that, Atlas. Uh, what was I talking about before Atlas interrupted the... Uh, I'd like one of Andrew Ryan and Sander Cohen. You know, just to go together in their little dream house. I think that'd be quite cute. But, uh, anywho... I'm sure Sander would be really pleased with that. Given his professions uh, regarding Ryan. What? Hello! Oh, it's one of you. Good. Ha! Fun. Oh, actually, hang on. Let me, let me sn- Oh, shit. Where'd she go? Oh, they're fighting. Good. <laughs> what fun. Oh, I can't get it from over here. Oh, well. Maybe later. Yeah, let's hack you, because you're relatively easy. So let's do you. Take that however you like, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mind double entendres. I am, after all, British, and there's a lot of them. Practically everything we say is a euphemism of some description. And if it's not intended as such, well, that's just how we read it. There we go. Okay. So what can we get from you, Mr. You Invent? I'll have the electric gel. That's really useful. Um, I think that'll do, actually. Hmm. Now, what can I do? Err! Gene Bank. Um, I'm alright in that regard, actually. What I need... There we go. I should be able to hack this automatically, actually. There we go. Lovely. I'm no engineer, but if I read these plans right, you can channel that magma flow using the redirect valve. It'll boil off that water right quick, and you'll be able to reach the core. But Ryan's sure to take notice. I want to set up a perimeter just to be certain. Right. Gotcha. Atlas, me dear. I'm no engineer. Hmm. It's all very convenient, isn't it? If I read these plans correctly, fuck off. <laughs> Sorry if I'm spoiling the, uh, the twists, by the way, ladies and gents, but, um, yeah, you'll, uh, you'll see. You'll see what's going on with Monsieur Atlas there. Okay, right, they're gonna come through, aren't they? Oh, here we go. Will these creatures kill you? Even I don't. As you drag me closer to the abyss, you pull yourself right along with me. I offer you a quick death, Parasite. It will be preferable to what you will learn if you win. You're not my fault! <laughs> doesn't half talk a lot, Andrew Ryan, doesn't he? Talks an awful amount. Oh, go away, you. Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. I want this one. There we go. Nah. Oh, I remember this. They keep coming through. It's a real pest. Heretic. 
Mm, interesting language. For a uh, secular civilization such as a rapture. Okay, fine. That's the way you want to play it, me dear. Oh, no, wrong one. Uh, gotcha. Oh, bollocks. Okay, fine. Fight one another, why don't you? There we go. There we are. Ooh, lovely. So do I need to keep turning it, or is that it? He's remarkably calm and sanguine, isn't he, for someone who's just lost his uh, wife and child, as it were. Remarkably sanguine. Now they're all dead. Oh, wow, look! It's boiled off all of the magma. That's cool. That's very cool indeed. Oh, well, um, I suppose I may as well just go for the core, eh? Why not? Down we go. Whoa, look at those. No idea what they are, but they're very impressive. So far away from your family, from your friends, from everything you ever loved. Mm. But for some reason, you like it here. Hmm. You feel something you can't quite put your finger on. Think about it for a second. Uh oh. And maybe the word will come to you. Uh oh. Uh. Nostalgia. What's uh, what's Ryan implying there? Do you think, ladies and gents? What's going on? I mean, according to the opening cinematic, we've never been here before. How can we have nostalgia? Uh, no, they're not really a problem for us, to be honest. Uh, greatly reduces duration of camera alarm, so they're not really a problem for us. So that's fine. But according to the opening cinematic, we've never been here before. And yet, Ryan seems to think otherwise. What did Atlas offer you? A piece of my plundered city? Hmm. Mark my words, your only reward will be a knife in the back. Oh, I've no doubt, Ryan, I've no doubt. No one here is nice, all right? I understand that. No one here is uh, has my best interests at heart. Okay. Oh, shit. Goodness. That was impressive. Will do. Oh, fuck. Oh, they're all coming for me. Um, this might be useful. Come with me, my dear. Come with me. Right. Ah, uh, bollocks. This is bad. Um, hang on. Ah! Yes, kill! Excellent. This means that we'll have a little army. Which is always cool. Oh, the music's really kicking off now, isn't it? It sounds very dramatic. As it well might. For the drama is high right now. There we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we are. There we go. Hey. I got me a little friend. 
Hang on. Let me uh just capture that one. Hey, look at that. <laughs> nah. Oh, I got you as well. That's cool. Oh, bloody hell. Well, this isn't good. Do you mind? Thank you. Oh, bloody hell. Well, I'm hoping to run across a vending machine of some description. Uh oh. I'm sure that's not good. He sounded really pissed off. I'm getting out of here. Oh, won't I? Oh dear. He's, um... I get the impression Ryan may be losing it a little. You know. Even more than he, he had before, you know. Get out of me way, you. I need a vending machine. That would be really useful. A vending machine would be lovely. For at the moment, I have nothing. <laughs> and I'm very low on everything. Uh-oh. Um, some armor-piercing rounds would be nice. Uh-oh. This isn't good. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say I'm allergic? <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh. Uh oh. Is that. Oh, it's my friend. Oh, shit. I oh, no, 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 no. Get out of my way. Ah. Right, hopefully. Uh oh. He's coming after me. Not good. Apologies there, ladies and gents. I had a slight technical issue. Um, all sorted now, though. Uh, now, we don't have much, so we're going to have to be quite conservative here. Okay, that's not great. But it should be enough to get us through. He says. Hello. What have you got for us? Oh, yes, I will hack you. Just uh, sat there doing nothing, so why not, you know? There we go. And... Fun, fun, fun! We're getting there. This is where the game starts to get a little bit more desperate. It starts chucking um, lots and lots of enemies at you at once. Lots of them. So, hello you. We need money, actually. Money would be great. Is the bloody Big Daddy still around? So I could kind of do without him, to be honest. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ryan. Here we go. Arr! Look at that. Now that's what you call an overload. In the end, all that matters to me is me. Yeah, right. All that matters to you is you. It is the nature of things. Cynical son of a bitch, aren't you, Iron? Hmm? Okay, right to the next area we go. Rapture Central Control. Yeah, this is 
the heart of Ryan's industry. It's the, it, This is where he's made his seat of power and where there are lots of revelations incoming, ladies and gentlemen. So prepare yourself. I want to say revelations, I mean big, 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 big revelations. Look at this. Uh-oh. This place is going to be swarming, isn't it? Even in the Book of Lies, sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. What? But know this. You are my greatest disappointment. Does your master hear me? Atlas, you can kill me, but you will never have my city. My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy. Uh oh. What did he mean? Come now, my child. There is one final thing to discuss. What? Ryan set the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk before the whole joint blows. What did he mean? Initial deployment, Vita Chamber. Client Ryan Industries, a stage one, need to complete. Sinclair and Alexander tried to explain the science to me, but Suchan does <laughs> not believe them. They keep saying plasmid reconstruction this and quantum entanglement that, and then prove dead people come back to life. Bullshit! <laughs> of course, Ryan will only allow it to be tuned to his genetic frequencies for the testing. <gasps> oh. He called me my child. What do you think that means, ladies and gents? Where do you think that's going? Hmm? Yeah. It's, uh, there's a little bit of sort of a Star Wars thing going on here, yeah? In case you haven't guessed already. Can't get in that way. I wonder if I can blast it. Nope. So, another way it is. And it's very interesting. I mean, Ryan strikes me as the kind of guy who absolutely would raise a hand against his own child. But he claimed that he couldn't and that he wouldn't. Interesting, eh? Hello. That looks like a way in to me. Let's go get him. Ah. <laughs> oh, now, ladies and gentlemen, when I first found this area, when I first played the game, it stole my breath. Wait until you see. Would you kindly? Oh. And who has been saying that to us all the way through the game? Do you remember? From the very beginning, who's been using that language? Hmm? You thought it was like a harmless verbal tick, yeah? Nope. It actually means something. Did you talk to your puppy? She's very pretty. Thank you, Papa Sushan. Break her neck for me. What? Break that sweet puppy's neck. <laughs> no, please. Break that puppy's neck. Would you kindly? No. Very good. 
There we have it. It's... It's not just a harmless verbal tick. It's a psychological cue for us. All the way through. Advanced deployment, lot 111, Dr. Suchong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Baby is now a year old. Weighs 58 pounds. And possesses gross musculature of a fit 19 year old. Oh. The Disappointing, but within expected tolerances. So we are the illegitimate child of Jasmine Jolene and Andrew Ryan, taken by Frank Fontaine and experimented upon by Sushong and Tenenbaum to create some sort of homunculus, the ultimate assassin for Andrew Ryan. Or of Andrew Ryan to be more specific. Unpleasant, eh? His greatest disappointment, eh? Oh, not yet. Not yet. Maybe later. Here we are. The assassin has overcome my final defense. And now he's come to murder me. There he is. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. <laughs> an airplane. <laughs> A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? <laughs> Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced right. down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill, or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Ooh. Come on. Interesting, eh? The ultimate irony, I suppose. I mean, Andrew Ryan's child, i.e. us, is the very manifestation of everything he loathes. We have had no choice, no free will, nothing. We are nothing. Stop, would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Mm. Familiar phrase. <laughs> would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? <laughs> Sit. Would you kindly? Stand. Would you kindly? Run. Stop. Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! Oh. A man chooses! Oh. This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, oof. Obey! Oh, and that's that's it. I mean.
son of a bitch. Ah, oh, there it is, ladies and gents. That's the. That is the crescendo of this story. It's. It's where this story reaches its its climax in many respects, and it is appalling. <laughs> Look at that. The the genius of Andrew Ryan. I mean, yes, I don't like him. I really loathe his philosophy, but for it to end like that... Jesus. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Ryan's genetic key. <laughs> uh oh. You get it? It's time to end this little masquerade. There ain't no Atlas kid. Never was. Selling my line of work takes on a variety of aliens. Mm -hmm. Hell, once I was even a Chinaman for six months. <laughs> but you've been a sword, so I guess I owe you a little honesty. The name's Frank Fontaine. <sighs> I gotta say, I had a lot of business partners in my life, but you, of course, that you were genetically conditioned to bark like a cocker spaniel when I said, would you kindly might have had something to do with it. <laughs> Still, now as soon as that machine finishes processing the genetic key you just fished off, Ryan, I'm gonna run Rapture tits to toes. <laughs> pal, but you know what they say? Never mix business for everything, kid. Don't forget to say hi to Ryan for me. <sighs> wow. Fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh, follow the little sister. I'm following. Holy shit. Oh, look, they've opened it for me. I'm... Oh, I, no worries. Oh, shit. <sighs> Holy hell, yeah? Holy hell. So much happens there. <laughs> That's where everything dovetails. That's where everything comes together. It's genius writing. It really is. The, the, I normally don't like twists in stories like that. They're often very ill-considered and they often ruin the story. Um, you, But that one is so good. That series of twists that comes again and again and again. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, where are we? Welcome back, child. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, look! You are angry at Fontaine, yes? Now you know the truth. Mm -hmm. You are his tool, brought back to Rapture to save him. Oh. You have saved many of my little ones. I owe you a debt. While you sleep, I undo some of Fontaine's mental conditioning. Oh, well, that's useful. I'll bet he can. Remade your mind with many locks and keys. Fontaine has most of those keys, but not all. Su Chan designed your mind, taught Fontaine to control you. You might find answers in Su Chan's flat in Mercury Suites. Come with me! Mm. 
Interesting, eh? So... Nothing. We are nothing but the creation of these people in Rapture. There's nothing else to us. Just terrifying stuff, eh? My god. This is where she's been keeping... Ah, uh, right, yeah. And this is where she's been keeping the little sisters. Wow. Okay, my dears. When we come back... Who's he? He's the one who saved me. Mm-hmm. I am indeed. And when we come back, my dears, we're going to take on Frank Fontaine. So, until then, bye-bye!